I want to talk with you today about prayer, but not just praying, but strategic prayer. You know, we are in a time of warfare. We are in a time where the where our families may be uh, under attack. Our bodies may be under attack. Our ministries may be under attack. Uh, the the government. Uh, of our nation and those around the world uh, may be in conflict right now. But let me tell you something. Strategic prayer always hits the mark. You know, behind me you see an Air Force plane that was in uh, one of the World Wars, and it had a mission. There was a mission for this plane behind me, and God has a mission for you today. Each one of us are called with a purpose and a destiny, and prayer is part of our destiny. But when I say strategic prayer, that means that it's going to hit the mark. It's going to go forth and be effective. Just like in the book of James, uh, James chapter 5, it says that the prayer of faith, the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous person will prevail. It will produce results and that's what we want we don't want to just pray and be beating the air but we want to pray with purpose we want to pray with a strategy in mind of whether it's for healing well for our sickness or a disease if it's prayer for finances if it's prayer for a ministry uh, to prosper uh, whatever it might be we need to have our weapons ready, and prayer is a mighty weapon of God. You know, when we, I think about uh, Jesus' disciples, they come to him and they say, you know, teach us how to pray. And he immediately begins to uh, say to them, uh, pray this way, our Father which is in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. There is no sickness in heaven. There's no crying in heaven. There's no uh, anxiety attacks or depression, uh, mental illness in heaven. Hallelujah. And so when we are praying strategically, then we are to bring heaven to earth. Hallelujah. Get a hold of that. I am a prayer warrior. My husband is a prayer warrior. Every ministry begins, God's ministry will begin with prayer. That individual or that group of people will begin to pray earnestly. And God will begin to give them wisdom and instruction and direction. Paul said, pray without ceasing. Pray with your understanding. Pray in the Spirit. Hallelujah. In the book of Jude, it talks about those having compassion, making a difference, pulling them out of the fire. That's what some prayers are for, for standing in the gap for our loved ones, for our friends, for those that we see out there on the streets that are lost and homeless and, and living a, an evil life. Pulling them out of that darkness, it takes prayer. It takes a strategy. Use the Word of God for your strategy. Ask the Lord before you begin to pray, Lord, give me a scripture to pray over this situation, over this person. Help me, Lord, to be strategic in my prayer time so that it is effective, so that it's, it yields results. Uh, in the kingdom of God. You know, the kingdom comes without observation. And the kingdom of God is within us. You know, and as we pray and we pour out uh, upon uh, those that need prayer, then we, you know, praying, oh, well, if it be God's will, well, the word of God is God's will. So find out what his will is. And then begin to pray with purpose and pray with, with a passion and with a power uh, that will bring results, the end result. 
I pray for you today, right now, in the name of Jesus, that you will begin to go into your prayer closet and that you will begin to pray uh, with a purpose and with a plan that God has given to you and not your own will, but His will be done in, in your prayer time. Hallelujah. I pray for those that are sick today that God will come down and touch your body and destroy every disease, every sickness, every symptom in your body. Be burned up with the fire of God. I say to you today, in Jesus' name, be filled with His Spirit. Be full of His Holy Ghost. Be full of His power uh, as you pray uh, in the name of Jesus. If you're not born again today, you can do that right now. Just confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Say, Jesus, you're my Savior. Come into my life. All you have to do is to call upon the name of Jesus and you shall be saved. Prayer is a powerful weapon in this warfare that we're in. And just like this plane behind me, we have a mission. We have a mission to do what God has called us to do. Thank you for viewing.